this is Brano Tieno and welcome to our fourth tutorial in the CI series. In this video, we're going to talk about views. Currently on the screen, I'm loading the home page, which consists of two views in here. That's the dashboard and another page that I'm just mapping right here to, to complete the page. Okay. So I'll try to talk about views in your favorite language called layman okay so if i hit the logout bu bu uh, button what I, whatever i have here on the screen is totally a different view and it's called the login view so let me go ahead and switch to our current project and wow looks so wonderful and if you want to know whatever we did that made it look so well let's go back to our uh, to our previous video that's video number three and you'll know what we did to acquire this template go to my website branotieno.com or just uh, clone it from my repo that's github.com slash branotieno slash branotieno ci template you can choose to clone it or just uh, download as if as if as if it file equivalent of the same okay so let me just close this one down and let's make our view so I'll switch to my um, IDE and then the first thing that I'm going to do is to open a blank, there's a blank template that I want you guys to use and it's already under the views folder so go ahead and open it, it's called blank page.php so I want you guys to open it and um, I want you to understand that and um, when we are talking, we're talking about controllers, there are two, uh, there are two uh, helpers that we already loaded. They're called, called the form helper and the HTML helpers. So um, the two helpers here uh, will assist you in designing your page, your views, okay? So go ahead and save this file to whatever you feel like. And I'm going to save it as um, I'm going to uh, save it uh, save it as example example view .php. don't rely on my naming convention guys um, I'm very poor at this that's the reason why my parent my parent starts to give me a name you see um, like last night I was uh, rename, uh, uh, creating a file and I gave it a name of xyj2 and then the computer kind of told me that you know what brian xyj2 is already existing and i was like what the heck guys you might you might this um silly with my kind of naming but hey guys just just go ahead and give your file uh, a decent name don't subscribe to my standards of naming okay so um if you take a look at the at this at this line here uh, we are echoing uh, form submit which is which which will never work with plain html is uh, a coded meta version of um, creating a submit button okay so i want you guys to go ahead and start start a form here the, uh, the, HTML, the html version of opening a form is just to do form okay and then you close the form you can do the action here like action um, post the rest of the things and then you expand this and then you do your home in in between okay but i want you guys to use the coding 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 meta version which is just to echo form form open and then the act the action the pay, uh, the place that you want this form to submit to so you can say main slash you can we can do process process example view okay so that you write the function you write the function in your controller to handle 
uh, to listen to the uh, to, uh, to, and handle that request no so we have open our form and then you can close it right here before we have our button displayed so you can do echo form form close okay yeah and then you have it so simple so easy to understand so in html you guys are already aware that you can create a form by writing input you give it a type of let's say um let's say a number and then you can do a name let's give it age id of age and then maybe um let's go ahead and give this uh we can add an not an autocomplete that is we can add let me think of something good for uh, a form input let's do a placeholder and instruct our user to just enter enter the age so that appears as your placeholder when nothing is typed into the field okay i've saved that so um in ci in code igniter um a way of doing this is just to create an array assign assign a variable to an array containing these fields up here and then you let that pass it to a form input so let's go ahead and do data is equal to array so the array list should contain the uh, the same same the same same uh, parameters above okay so let, let, let's just say um, data is equal to array and then we can start with type okay so array list so we are going to create a key and a value so the first one here is going to be our type also type let's keep okay type here and then the is the key and then i'll provide a value of text and then i'll just go ahead and make a few copies of the same and then i'll add name and then our name here is going to be age id id is age so that you can access it through that um you can see a place placeholder placeholder here is going to be um enter enter your age something like that okay um so after doing that you can go ahead and just say echo form input and then pass in the data in here okay so save and then your field is already created so let's go back to our browser and then before we do anything we can create we can create a function in our main that that specifically loads our view so let's do function um, example view you can go ahead and write your function can say this load view and then our view name which is example view okay so can then run this in my browser my control and then my function in here good so i already have the two fields in here super cool so the first one here is the is the html is the html plain html version and then this one is the coordinator version of the of the input field so um this one was a number but if we never included it here so we can do number nope 
you already have it sorry guys you can just do type number so that you have that kind of wheel that you scroll up yeah good so that you have this kind of wheel you can scroll up and just in case if you want your if you want your field to pick extra extra digits like increase it by some some value you can just add it here you can add a step say 0 0.1 if you want it to increase by one tenth you can add the same here to step I kinda did something I kinda did something so let us do step step 0 0.1 and then add the same same step in here to step I you don't need to quote 0 0.1 here just do step 0 0.1 yeah it's going to increase by 0 0.1 or just one tenth like one tenth My field tells me that I have to, I have to quote this, I have to quote this. Something is not working out guys, but go ahead and resolve that step, the step thing. Go ahead and resolve it your way. And make sure that it works, but at least I have shown you guys how to create a an input field okay guys um that's that's just a way of creating forms in forms in in code in code igniter designing forms you 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 can go ahead and check um form helper in code igniter okay you can check on form and help html helpers the documentation will find nice resources but i'm not going to entirely waste my time teaching you guys how to do your forms is something that you can do but we have form open uh, you can pass attributes to that yeah if you want to set a hidden value in the form form password that if that is if you want a password field text area just go ahead and see what what all these things mean should be easy and busy as well okay i'm ready showing you guys how to load your helpers so um the next thing here is just to if you if you if you take a look at this form here um you can format them with bootstrap okay so let's go ahead and add that one over here Call, let's call our bootstrap classes now class form control form control that alone will change it big time let me add the same here to class and then form control yes me separating between here after form, uh, before form input before I pass in the the data to create in my form input I just want to um, echo form form label okay and then I'm going to give it a name to enter enter your name Then just refresh this so looking so professional i can echo i can, I can uh, uh, give myself a little bit of space in here but just echoing up a break so i'll just come in here and say echo echo br okay and then 
uh, I can specify the number of spaces that are, that are needed in between here, like four. So I mean, it's a little bit nicer to work with these kind of things. So I let on show you guys how to change the the color of your the color of your button here. You can use Bootstrap classes as well, but the reason why I'm not handling that is because I'm currently uh, uh, passing a variable here called bat button class, which is actually uh, a class in my session that I've not generated yet. But whenever we do that, this one should take the your theme, uh, the theme that you that you prefer to use, and it will change the change your button to that. Okay, so I just don't want to just pass in a, a primary button color or any other thing here I just want it to, to remain the way it is so that you guys will have to understand how everything works in the form letter additionally you can check here at my here at the title here I've echoed the title so which means you guys will still need to, to learn how to pass values from from your controller to to your view without necessarily uh, necessarily setting it up here that is if you want to make your templates a little bit dynamic at my footer here as well there is some echo uh, I'm echoing um, credit line but this one take te takes on a value from the database so you you guys will have to learn that one as well I'm echoing my panel here uh, this is this is a uh, this is another session variable that I'm capturing here to change to dynamically change my 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 panels okay so that we'll eventually end up with something of the sort something of the sort okay a form of the sort but you guys, you guys will have to wait and learn with time okay because it involves validating our validating our our login page which we should do after learning after learning uh something about our something about models okay and in our next tutorial let's go ahead and know the syntax of creating a model and the rest of the things then we can start doing some concrete work this is still some petty 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 learning learning curve we have to go steeper into our learning curve and why don't i see you in, in my next tutorial and remember to subscribe as well